This is 54-year-old Margie Bradley. Margie is about to be interrogated by the police regarding the murder of her ex-boyfriend, 62-year-old Willis Sanders. Margie and Willis enjoyed getting drunk and smoking crack. They also had a history of violence against each other. Like I said, we investigating a, a death investigation. Yeah, if you, you know what I'm talking about? Well, I didn't know the job was investigated until somebody told me, Jim Dandy, the guy said, the police came by here and asked me, and I said, who? He sent him up there to the grave where I was, but I, I just heard it about maybe three hours ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Willis Sanders? Willis Sanders. When was the last time you seen him? Last time I seen him, okay. That'd be like two weeks, eight days, nine days, something like that, two weeks ago. Yeah, I haven't seen him since like the 3rd of February or something like that. The 3rd of February? Yeah, something like that. Well, eight or nine days ago, being that it's March 1st, is a pretty big time difference between um, February 1st and March 1st. Okay. You said I mean, eight or nine days, so do you mean like... That's kind of a big jump. That's what we're just trying I said to I haven't right. seen him in about eight or nine. The last time I saw him was like eight or nine days. Supposed to really two weeks. Okay. It was February the third. If it wasn't February the third, maybe it's like it's been it's been two weeks, really. On March first, twenty nineteen, Willis's landlord opened his apartment door because his neighbors were complaining about a strong odor coming from inside. When the landlord entered the apartment. He found Willis's body lying on the floor. The cause of death appeared to be a brick inside of a pillowcase hidden under the bed. So, approximately how many times have you been to his apartment since he moved in? If you were to guess. Three different times. What's your relationship with Mr. Willis? We try, I try, I mean, we really don't have a relationship, but, you know, when I see him, I kick it with me, kick it with me, but, you know, I got, I mean, really, my boyfriend is trained, I mean, you know, I've been trained for years, but, you know, I got a lot of respect for him, you know, I mean, he's been trained for years, you know, I've been trained for years, but, Willis uh, had me sent to jail, you know, over some bullshit, and, you know, I had to really shy away from him, and I had to shy away from him anyway, because he wanted to distract my mother, call my mother's house, and even when I'm not there, he talked bad to my mother, see what I'm saying, because my mother, and when you do bad with my mama, I have to get away from it. What led the police to Margie was because Willis's neighbors claimed that the last time they had seen him alive, he had been with Margie. They also told the police that the couple was known to argue, and sometimes their arguments would lead to violence. Well, do you know Amy Hill? Amy? Mm -hmm. No. You don't know Amy Hill? And she says that you refer to her as the bitch. Does that ring any bells? I'm not trying to be crude. Like, That's I just mean, what she said. I don't even know. I mean, who is I mean, who is Emmy I mean, here? I don't do. I don't call people out of their names like that. You know, I don't prefer her. Well, I don't know if there was some beef between um, Mr. Willis and then Miss Emmy. I don't. But she was specific when she said she saw you at the apartment, and that was. About eight or nine days ago. Yeah, but I, I don't know her. I mean, it's, it's I don't. Know, it's only two two uh, peop other people that stayed there. That I was like, and there was the guy downstairs, um, uh, Bill, and and the the white people up front because they're the ones that opened the door when we went over there. So who does Mister? Who? What other females does Mister Willis deal with besides you? Oh, I don't know, but. I don't know. I'm not gonna put no name out there, but you well, know, sure I'm, putting your I'm, not, I'm, I'm not his. I'm not. I'm not his girlfriend. I'm not. I'm not his girlfriend though. Right. And and I don't think anybody. But, but he. But, but, but you know, he'll he he'll say that you know to make somebody. Else, but everybody know that the trans is my boyfriend, and I had really me and Willis used to try to kick it, but I, but Willis is too disrespectful. So I had to you know, mm -hmm. and you know I had to stop kicking it with because he's very disrespectful. Hey Willis. Yes. Tell, tell us about that. You know, if my mother don't, my mother can't get, can't get ready for you after so many chances, then I can't, you know. And so I stay away from my mother's house so he don't be calling because he's very disrespectful. And, you know, after he sent me to jail for nothing that I didn't even do, 
Then I knew right there, I have got to stay away from him. The police know that Willis and Margie enjoy drinking and smoking crack. So the next line of questioning is to see if Margie will be honest about her drug use. Do you know if he had any kind of substance abuse issues? He drank. What else? Smoke cigarettes. Mm. What else was up that? He smoked. What does he smoke? What is his drug of choice? Cocaine. Mm. And um, were you ever around him whenever he did things of that nature? Were you ever around him? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Okay. Well, he's deceased. You know, and yes. we we're investigating because his we, death. You, we have some other Yes. Okay. And uh, his, in his uh, uh, neighbors ever seen you guys arguing? Well, they don't see him. You know, he just, he just walked and talked to himself a lot. But mm -hmm. no, I have I haven't told no arguments over there. You know, not not with him, and not with nobody else. No, we haven't been arguing. No, I was wondering. There's be nobody the there, you know. No. Mm -hmm. So what would I, what would you say if I told you that there were some people that said that they they saw you with him at the apartment um, about eight or nine eight or nine days ago, which was the middle of February, around February nineteenth or so, because it's March first now. So just like a couple of weeks ago around, would you say that you were... Yeah, I said, yeah, about, I mean, really about two weeks ago when I, when I saw it. Mm -hmm. And what, what time of day were you there? February, I mean, it was, it was, in, it, it, it was in the morning. It was mm -hmm. in the morning, yeah. The last time y'all were over there, did y'all argue about anything? Did y'all have an altercation? The, no, we never walked to He went to work. And they, and they dropped me off of my little house. And that was? Fe that the last time I was over, February 3rd, yeah. Okay. How many times has, have y'all gotten into like a fist The problem with Margie's story is that it does not match the statements given by the neighbors. Margie claims that she hasn't been to Willis's apartment in over five months, but the neighbors claim they had just seen her a few weeks ago. The other issue is during the middle of February, Margie dyed her hair red for Valentine's Day. The neighbors claim that when they saw her, her hair had been red. So we're not going to find anything in reference to your DNA on his body or anywhere else in the apartment. Because I assure you, we do a very thorough job. Uh, unless you find it uh, four or five months ago when we're we, especially not gonna, we did something, but no. And we're not, especially not going to find any of your red hair 
or anything like that that may have been left behind on anything. Is that correct? Since you had that after February. I didn't have no red, red hair when I was over there. Well, that, February 3rd, the last time I was over there, I didn't have red hair until like two or three days before. Well, that's, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So there shouldn't be any evidence of that. No. It's not, no, it's not going to be my red hair. Because I had, it's not going to be any evidence of me being okay. over there so, doing nothing because so, I still don't even know what it is. So how do you think that I even knew to ask if you have red hair? Because I have red hair. Right. And I'm not going to lie, I hate really. But, but that's me. Like I said, I got Do you know where I got that particular information from? No, ma'am. The people that live at that apartment. Yeah, yeah. So you were there when you had red hair? Yes, I'm there. Yeah. But you're just now telling me that you're, you hadn't been over there since I said that. I, I said, what I said was I didn't have red hair when I was there. I had red hair. The last time I was there was February 30th. Which, when you didn't have red hair. Yeah, I have red hair. But right. I have had red hair. I tried to have red hair like two, three days before Valentine's Day. I took it out. But I ain't been over there with no red hair. But that's how I knew to ask. No. Because I they saw you with the red hair. No, I haven't, I haven't been over there. With, I haven't been back for the rest of February 3rd. And that was early in the morning. I, I don't know who they got me mixed up with. My God's and I'm You will not sure. mind my nothing. Okay. Yeah, they said your name. Specifically. Yeah, they described you pretty much to the T. So they know you when they see you. Yeah, I just, yeah. They well, Miss Bradley was. I know, I already knew Bill because we knew Bill when we stayed on my number. Those are the only two people I ever seen. It didn't look ugly. I'm telling you, I don't ever be there that long. And the last time I was there, I wasn't there in one, two, three hours. They were right there. Mm -hmm. The reason that this is uh, well, I, this is good for you to be talking to us right now is because you can get ahead of this thing right now. But if further things come out, and we have to talk to you again, and things aren't adding up, I mean, that's not going to look good for you, is it? Not not necessarily, right? No, but... Okay. So it's very important that you... If it don't look good for me now, it won't because I'm telling you exactly what you're telling you. Is the truth is exactly what you ask. Well, there's a couple of there's a couple of things that just aren't adding up, which is why we're, you know, why we're re-asking you questions and things of that nature. No. But, you know, we understand accidents happen. Now, our whole job is somebody made a mistake and somebody, there was an accident that happened. Yeah, this looked like an accident. And so that's what we're investigating. But when you leave things out as far as what happened in detail and when you don't tell us what really happened, how can we, how can we even, you know, write down what you said to us and say, oh yeah, she was telling us the 100% truth. Because as it stands right now, with all the evidence that we already have, because we've been working on this all day, all the evidence that we already have, it shows something completely different than what you're saying. Well, I don't know what other kind of evidence that you have, but my evidence is that I haven't seen, I've told you the truth about everything, I have not been back to his house in February. They might have saw me, but it had to be between February 3rd and before then. And I had, did have red hair, but I didn't go over there. You know, I ain't seen, I, I seen Dick maybe one time, but I didn't go over with red hair. I had black hair like this, I put red hair in my hair like two, three days before Valentine's Day, but I didn't go over there. So, when I ask you, that you're sure that we're not going to find any red hair or anything like that inside that apartment or on Mr. Wilson. Is that correct? That's correct. And you're sure? You can sit 100% right now and say that that's correct? Yes. Okay. Last time I had the middle of February 3rd, my hair was just like a bun and just like this. I haven't made this apartment. He might have saw me one time with that red hair. And I think that was during the week when he passed me coming out of jail. That's the last time I saw Yeah, we ain't talking about him. We're talking about the people that live there. Right? Yeah, we're not, yeah, we're talking about the people that live at the apartment and who so okay. told us okay. and gave us a description of what you look okay. like. And in that description, you have red hair. So I didn't, I didn't, I haven't had red hair in my hair 
in my head since Valentine's Day and the first time that I was the last time I was out was February third and, and I had my hair just like this. I haven't been back over to his house, people. Not with red hair no way. I haven't been back over there. You know, when I saw him I hadn't saw him in weeks and weeks and weeks, you know, we do that because we've been growing up far. You know, because he come cuss my mama. And That's fine. And now you, you guys are really far apart. Yeah, we've been. I mean, you know. No, you, you're to, really far apart because he's dead. Yes, and, 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 and in our investigation, we live together. You know, and, I understand that. You know, considering yeah. that we shack for seven, eight months, you know, we have really grown. Up. Yeah. I mean, we had. You know, I didn't see him in which I lived in the death. But you know. You know, if you can't, I can't take coming in my mama's house, you know, call me, then I, I don't need you there, and you call me distraction. So I had to quit fooling with you. Do you understand, though, that he is dead? Yes, ma'am, I did. I, you're, you're not, I don't understand why you're not, you don't have any, well, any emotion toward him. What did he do to you that you do not give a crap that he's dead right now? That's oh, my I, question. I do, I do give, I do give credit. I, I love him. I loved him with all my heart, so I loved him with all my heart, so Myself. Well, I give a crap about him being there. But, but I'm trying, this is my thing. I can't even grieve because here I'm supposed to be gonna kill him or be over there. You know, who said that? I mean, you said my DNA Whoa. come up in there. No, 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 no. Will I go to jail? Nobody yeah. said. That you say you're gonna do an autopsy. Well, he's definitely an autopsy. Yeah, he's yeah. dead. And if my DNA show up on there, I'm gonna tell you what? right now. Then you what? Know, you say it would never... be easier for me now to and I'm telling you I have a good day. That's now now look, that's what you see. Are you sure are you positive that that, that you that your DNA DNA won't show up nowhere when we do the autopsy? And do you know what? Those are general questions for everybody that sits in front of that chair and talks to us. We never accused you of killing anybody. You said, I know you. No, I did not. No, no, but he's deceased. Yeah, we said, yes, he said, you know, like he, he, yeah. he's deceased, you know. Yeah, but we said it looked like an accident. But you yeah. never, you, you said it like an accident, but what she said was, are you sure that you're the, and then she come with the red hair. I'm telling you, the last time that I was at that house was February 3rd. I don't care what anybody told you. The last time I was at that house was February 3rd. Nobody. Has and every day I, was, I mean, you know, and I haven't been over there with no red hair, really. I haven't, that didn't even have red hair the last I was over there. I had a bun. Okay, know. well, I haven't asked you any more questions about the red hair. You're, You're the one that's going on and on about it. Oh, well, you know, you said red hair. Well, I'm just making sure. Well, you won't find no red hair, not mine. Okay. Well, if that's the case, that's the case. But we ask people the same questions that sit in front of this chair. Because that's our job, is to find out what happened to Mr. Willis. So that his family can have closure. And like he said, we know that accidents happen. Nobody is sitting in front of you accusing you of killing anybody. That came out of your mouth. I never said that. You said that I wouldn't agree. I was showing the emotions. I did say How that. How can I when I'm being accused? You know? Nobody's accusing you of anything. No. Are you in handcuffs right now? No. Are you going to jail right now? No. You're talking to two people that bleed the same blood that you do right now. That could very well be in the exact same situation that you are in right now. But basically, you were accusing me of what you were saying. You were investigating. Well, and maybe, you know, we are investigating. Yeah. You know. And we're good at what we do, and we will find out what happened. Okay. And well, so if it. there is more, that's why I'm saying this is your opportunity to get ahead of it before it rolls downhill. Because like I said, we've done this yeah. investigation all day. Yeah. yeah, we've been out there all day, so... So I'll be trying to talk to you because from what we understand, most people said you and him was together more than what you saying, more than, what, three times? Or last three, you saw him three times? Yeah, I mean, since he moved up there, we, yeah, we used to be together, but, you know, I've been three or four months ago. Those people up there, is it Bill, no, but I've never seen a Bible Bill and that white girl and the ugly next door. Mm. But we've been knowing Bill, we stayed down on Mount for seven or eight months. They'll stay right there again. Mm -hmm. But other than yeah. that, no one would know. But the people like in Robinson or something, they know they seen us together in four or five months since the last time when we were together. Yeah, this is just people that live there that said they saw you, you and him together. They yeah. said, and they mentioned Beverly, but they said him and Beverly broke up. They said you yeah. and Willis are always together. Yeah, well, we 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 were together, you know, all the time. I think we did, but 
Like I said, I haven't seen, I haven't been over to this house in February very year. Really. Mm -hmm. The detectives have done a great job talking with Margie about the case, but now it's time for them to put the pressure on her and get her to confess. So basically when we do an investigation, it's a bunch of puzzle pieces that get put together. Okay. And when we talk to people, and we can tell who's telling the truth and who's not. That's our job. Um, so when we come to you and ask you questions, it's because we've talked to many, 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 many people. And in this puzzle right now that we're in currently, all the puzzle pieces are fitting, except for the ones you're telling us. They don't really fit because they contradict everything else that we have confirmed and, and all that type deal. So you have to understand our concern about that particularly. So um, I think you're telling probably about 40% of the truth, but there's 60% that you're not telling us. And the reason I know that is because of all of this stuff here and all these people that we've talked to today and every, everything in, on, this, on these recordings that we have. So why is that? You don't know why that is? No, I know. I know why that is. Because you're hiding something. I'm not hiding anything. You are. And I see it. And it's like a big elephant on top of your chest. Mm -hmm. And you can hardly breathe. You're sitting here in front of I'm us. Hard, can hardly breathe. Nobody accused you of anything. And you're, in, you're sitting there feeling like somebody accused you of something. No, I, I don't feel like you accused me. Because if you did, I'd already be in anger. So you'd be old if you asked me. But you're calling me out here to talk. And I'm not holding you. I've answered all your questions. I'm not holding you. I haven't seen him since two or three days doing that week, two weeks ago, and they haven't been to his house every day. So why is it that he has a huge gash in the back of his head and he is dead right now? His body, okay, as it stands, somebody cared about him when this happened because they showed care by putting material behind his neck to make him comfortable because they didn't know and they felt sorry for what happened and I feel that the person that did this was very very that loved him and wanted to help him and regretted what happened that's that's what it shows that's what we see when we go in there. And But you know this already. You know this already. You know it was an accident. You didn't mean to swing that thing and hit him in the back of the head. So I want to hit I have not seen Dick since I tell you the week of Valentine's Day. His body was being shown with care. He didn't just accidentally fall and hit his head on something and then fall on He did. He was. You're showing more remorse and care right now than you have the whole time we've talked to you. Because you know it's true. Something happened. Accidental or not. I think it was accidental. Detective Eppes thinks yeah. it was accidental. But if we let this continue to grow... It's not good. I see this elephant on your chest right now. You are dying to get this off your chest because you can't live with it. You really did truly care about this person. I still, I love, I always have loved you. I still love you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we I see that. I always have. We see that. But you yeah, know what? It's like it's just an accident. Accidents happen. I mean, like I said, whoever was that loved him and, and tried to help him. That shows a lot. Mm -hmm. And every every horrible thing we've seen, yeah. that shows a lot. Especially compared to a lot of other cases we've worked. And it's okay. But you can't sit in here and not tell us what happened. Because you know what happened. 
Get it off your chest. Accidents happen. People mm -hmm. get angry. Yeah. It's okay. It's human nature. It's been going on since humans were around. But this is going to snowball on top of your head if you do not get in front of this. And we're the people to talk to about it. That's why you're here. You're not here by accident. You're not here by accident. Yeah, we can, we can see it in your eyes. Just what I'm happened? Hoping, I, I'm yeah. hoping I'm going to miss it. Yeah. You know? yeah. And I do. So what happened? It is right there. You're gonna feel yeah. you're gonna feel so much better. Yeah. You can you can tell us. I mean We wanna be able to put on paper that you were honest with us and it was an accident. We really want to be able to say that because yeah. I don't think you're an evil person no. at all. Not after what we saw. We don't see some bad okay. people come through. Well, I'm not going to admit to nothing that I didn't do. And y'all already know I did. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It's okay. Yeah, it is okay. okay. <laughs> it is okay. It's definitely all right. Things all right. happen. Yeah, things all right. happen. All right. Yeah, stuff happens. All right. Oh God. <laughs> <Stuff>. <laughs> Accidents happen. Sorry. It's all right. You're wearing me. Yeah. Yes, we can tell the whole time we talk to you. Yeah, we see it in your eyes. We we do this all the time. We talk yeah. to people, so we can tell. But it's an accident. But we need to know what happened. Okay. The whole story, everything. Don't leave anything out. If y'all were smoking dope, so what? Yeah. Everything. Drinking so, together, eating. No, when was this? Margie finally confesses and admits she is the killer. She may have confessed because she believes it will benefit her in the end, or she really did love Willis and the detectives were able to play on her emotions. Either way, they want the full story. You feel like that, I'm saying, you get it off the chair, you know, like you ain't got to hide it. Or... It was an accident. Yeah. All right, well, let's... It was an accident. Okay, we believe that. Yeah, we can tell. Just from where you try to help him and everything. But <laughs> it already hit me with I mean throw a bottle at me. Throw the bottle at me that we was drinking it was glass out on the floor. Okay. We were drinking. Okay. I mean he just threw he was doing everything he threw it, you know. Besides, we had been drinking, we had a fifth and been beers, you know, because okay. we drank whiskey. You know, when we went smoking, I mean, when that, when that, okay, you know, it was raining, and it was green, and one thing, I mean, one thing, I mean, we were watching, we were watching movies, and all of a sudden. He threw that ball in and it hit the wall and this thing I know. What happened? He was on the floor. Okay. How'd he get on the floor? He fell. He, he, he fell. Mm -hmm. He just hit on what? His head on the, on the, uh, on the floor. I mean, he just fell. He was just laying there. You're getting there. Yeah. Because the injury that he has is not from that. And we have, if, if this was an accident, you, have, you should have no reason to not tell us everything that happened so yeah. that we can document it. Because you're... You're getting there. You're getting there. Yeah. And we understand yeah. it's difficult. The that you said it was, they broke, we, we saw that. But just because he, you know, that, that, that happened, you know, about 30 minutes before the whole alteration, mm -hmm. you know, and he had asked me, and I had, he asked me to leave. Mm -hmm. He said, I want you, I said, okay, I'll go, you know. Mm -hmm. And then he threw a bomb when I got ready to go. He grabbed me by my 
when I was searching out, okay. put it back in there. And, and then what happened? I really can't remember. All I know is when, you know, he was on the floor and this thing I know, and, and you know, and I just left. But, you know, I didn't. I didn't think he was dead, you know, he was moving, I just left because I didn't want, I didn't want him grabbing on me no more, you know, I didn't, you know, it always was something, you know, he had been me to leave, verbal abuse and everything, you know, so I left, finally left, mm -hmm. it had been raining that day, we had went got movies and stuff, you know, when you get to drinking, that's what you do, mm -hmm. and he fell and hit his head, that's all I know. Where y'all get the movies from? Margie tells some of the truth, but the problem is, the detectives know that Willis died from a brick in a pillowcase and not from a fall. All they need now is to get Margie to confess to using the brick and then make sure she did not act in self-defense. So tell us about the brick in the pillowcase. Brick in the pillowcase? Yeah. There's blood. Oh, well, it's Mm -hmm. and it's still the case. I don't, you know, he was just, I just, I mean, you know, he fell down. I mean, he hit his head, but, you know, I thought that he was just drunk, you know. He, I just went ahead and left out the door. But for sure, I didn't think he was dead, you know. Mm -hmm. So why did you put that thing behind his neck? I didn't put that behind his And he got there some way, and you were the last person in there. Yeah. I think you're about 90% there, but there's yeah. still that other 10%. Yeah, because you tried to hit him by putting that up on his head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Breathe a little bit and just tell us exactly from the start when y'all got the movies. Is it daytime, nighttime? Was it daytime or nighttime? Which one? Daytime. It was daytime? Okay. About what time? It was raining, you know. I just remember it was raining. Yeah, it was raining. Was it in the morning or around the lunchtime? Me, it, it, it was like, he said, well, you know what? I can't hold you. You can go. I said, well, let me get my ass out of here because I'm tired of you asking me to go. You know, I said, I'm tired. I'm not going to argue with you. And I got to see you finna get ready. And then he said something. Then, you know, he told the ball at me, you know, but it missed me and like he was really throwing it at me because he could hit me with, you know, he just stood up against the wall. But, then, you know, I didn't tell you that he was trying to hit me. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'm finna go. He said, well, you can go to him. You know, go. I want you to go. I want you to go. And when I got ready to go out the door, he grabbed me. And, but he was always doing stupid stuff like that. Okay. You, you hear me? He, yeah. he would do that kind of shit, you know, and he talked ugly to me and stuff, you know. Then when I get ready to do pick up a number to go, because I already know that if I go, he goes, Brad, I'm going to fall out. Come on back. And you know, I don't like this scene, but you know, sometimes when he said, I want you to go, I just go. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, he just get drunk and he always do the same thing when you get drunk, you know, he just, you know, you don't want to be with me, you can go, you know, he just mm -hmm. do that, you know. If I don't want to be with him, I wouldn't be with him. Right. I quit being with him, you know, he had mm -hmm. stuff all that. But he just gets drunk and he is very disrespectful, mm -hmm. very. I mean, he fell, you know, I mean, you know how he just fall, you know, he fell, but... It, I didn't think, you know, he was still talking shit, you know, I, I don't like to, when he fell, I just don't like to do it when I do it. Okay. Well, that's not the truth. And you and I both know it. We really want to be able to write yeah. what happened. Okay? Like, we're not making anything up. Yeah, we don't want to make nothing up or try to guess what happened. No, because it's a puzzle right in front of us that we're good at figuring out. And it sh clearly shows what happened. Mm -hmm. And our puzzle has to match what you're saying, and it doesn't. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're trying to get, make sure we got it right. You know, but if we start typing like like we jumping around, 
we putting pieces together that don't fit. So we want to make sure we got it right. And we've already established it was an accident. And just because you defended yourself, that doesn't make it any less an accident. Yeah. At all. I mean, we've already established that he didn't want you to leave, even after he told you to leave. How else were you supposed to get out? Just if he pulls you from the back, pull me back in. He was always, you know, doing stupid stuff like that. He didn't mean he, he was drinking him and, and that's not how he would act every time. I mean, not every time, but, you know, if it's a time when I just say, I'm not finna listen to this and go, you know. We've been going through that for the last nine or ten months, you know, and I'm just tired of it, you know. Mm-hmm. Even in my mom's house, you know, he gets crazy. My mom's, dig you out of the gym. I said, she said, as a told dig, let's go. You have to go because you disturb my mom. He'll call me, call my mom all the time, bitches. If she tell him I'm not there, he, he know that I am, you know. Mm-hmm. And he just, you know, he only did that when he drank. Mm-hmm. But, so you know, I had to give, you know, it's too much. So what happened? Because he didn't fall like that. Yeah, just. just. You helped him what it looked like before you left. Well, you saying that he fell and you just left, but you didn't do that. And there's where you tried to clean up the blood. No. You tried to help him with the shirt. I mean, you, you were trying to help. But that didn't get locked that because nobody else went in that apartment. You were the last person there because you locked the door when you left. Yeah. The next time it was open was the landlord finding him. So there's no question about I didn't I mean I don't even know if I closed the door or not I just didn't have it back you know no, it was purposely locked and closed there was some sort of blunt force trauma it wasn't because somebody fell no I'm telling you because that's what that's what happened and the fact that that you say this was all an accident and everything and even us knowing what really happened I mean, if you tried to defend yourself, you know, because you choking you, like you said, well, then you was defending yourself. But something else happened. He didn't just fall like that. And then, the, I don't know, who the... A shirt or a shirt or something. Put or up something. Under his head I mean... Like you trying did. to make him comfortable. Yeah. I mean, it all tells a story. But it's not going to help you any if you don't tell your side of the story. This whole thing about he fell and I left, that didn't happen. There was more to that. A lot more. You left, but you didn't leave right then. It only It's not going to do anything but help you. Because we already know. You're not going to sit in that chair and tell us something we don't already know. Mm-hmm. This is your opportunity to get ahead of this before it runs smooth over you. And we write in our report, she had no remorse. She lied constantly, yeah. would not tell us the truth. We don't want to write that. It took us several hours to finally get the truth. We don't want to write that. We want to write that you have remorse, that this was an accident, you were trying to defend yourself. Whatever happened in our report is what we want to write. Well, I did. I reached up under the bed because the bed had bricks up under me. Because he was on top of the jungle, yeah. Mm-hmm. He took one day and cut it. Got one, specifically. The breathing. I mean, because I could feel it, you know, I just hit him like that, and, you know, he did. He, he, he stood up and he fell over, but, you know, but. And then, I, I mean, I left. I mean, I, I didn't stay. I didn't, I didn't know. I, it was, I, didn't, I didn't think he was dead. Because he, you know, he was. He was moving. I just, I just left while I could and went out the door. You know, I was kind of well. I didn't, I didn't really didn't know I had hit him that hard, but mm-hmm. well, I knew he kind of, you know. To, uh, I'm, well, I'm trying to get, trying to figure out. You said that you was on the floor when you grabbed it between the, between the bed. Yes. You was, you was laying down on the floor. Yeah, I was on the, on the floor. And where was he at? On top of me. He was on top of you. 
Okay. And then you just reaching for whatever you could grab, or you I already get reaching because you know I, I knew I knew that that I could get a shoe, or or, or I was reaching for a, that a bottle of uh I, um I was reaching for the a bottle that that that, that I, had, I had over there with some drink mixed together with, okay. but it was it rolled on the bottom there. But I just reached, but it, I knew it was a brick up on there because that's what the bed was, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, it's bricks up on there for the bed, it don't have brick like that. Okay. And I just reached and got it and just, you know. Hit him on top of the head with it. Yeah, you know, I said, you better get him off me. And, you know, he kind of got, you know, like this river, he fell on back, but I just got up and left, you know. I, I left because I didn't want to stay there. I really didn't know that he was bleeding. I didn't take time to look at that. You didn't know he was bleeding? No. I didn't, you know, I just left out. What did you do with the brick? Because it was in a pillowcase. So how did it get in a pillowcase? Margie claims that while she was being attacked, she used a brick in self-defense and then ran out of the apartment. The problem is that the police found evidence that someone had attempted to clean up the crime scene and hide the brick under the bed. Every time they confront Margie with an inconsistency, she reveals a little bit more of the truth. We were on the surface line here. Yeah, there was like a blood on like, like someone, I don't know, like, because that's your side of the story. What were you trying to like... Help him to stop bleeding. Pressure on the wound, trying to put pressure to keep it from bleeding or something. Or what happened with that? Only you know the only, only thing that that the chili had blood was a pill slip. You know. No, there was a lot of stuff in there with blood. I mean, yeah, you know. Stuff in the closet. A head wound bleeds like crazy immediately. <sighs> so there's no way you didn't see any blood, which is fine if you saw blood because you saw blood. But what did you do to try to help him after the fact? I tried to stop the bleeding. That's what the shirt was for that I threw in the closet. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I mean, and I just seen it, you know, I'm just wiping it up. I didn't touch it, you know, just, but I, I, I it happened. And I just, I, I, I wasn't there no more than 20 minutes. I just think, I didn't really think he was dead, but it was just blood. I was just wiping it up, you know, because he didn't move. But, I really didn't know he was dead. I just thought he was drunk and out. I didn't kill him. I, I was just, I wasn't trying to kill him. I just wanted him to get off of me. Did you know? I was tired of him, you know. He was always very abusive, you know, with his words and stuff. But then he could get in and around, you know, people, you know, and I had to just cuss him out and just leave because I don't tell him what he'll do. Mm-hmm. You know, he talked I, I have to get away from him because he talks so bad and he's ignorant and he's very disrespectful to me. Mm-hmm. So whenever you were trying to stop the bleeding, when did you figure out that the bleeding wasn't going to stop? I didn't figure out that it wasn't going to stop. I didn't wait to see. You didn't wait to see? Didn't call 911? Didn't alert anybody? Why didn't you do that? I figured maybe that he would get up and I didn't really want to try. I didn't really just was hoping that that was what really it was. Right, I understand. But I feel like if you thought he was going to get up, then you wouldn't have put that nice little behind his neck to make him comfortable. I mean, I was trying to do what I could. Mm-hmm. It never dawned on you to call 911 though? With him bleeding? Well, it, 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 it was, he didn't bleed much. I didn't, he didn't bleed that much. The shirt, and then I put the, and I left. I'm t- I was only there. You know, after that happened, maybe maybe five or ten minutes, and I left. Right, I understand that. But typically, when somebody's bleeding, to and they're not talking to you and they're not moving, then. But he was. I mean, he was. You know, at first you said you said he was at first, but then he stopped. Moving. Yeah, but he hadn't. He hadn't stopped when I. I just didn't. I don't think he had stopped when I left. Really, and. 
Just, you know, it can I didn't know you did. I didn't think you did. So, well, I thought maybe you were going to get on up, you know, in a minute or whatever. I wasn't trying. I didn't wait around to see. But I felt like that I had, you know, knocked them down pretty hard. And when you were trying to, just trying to get, you know, trying to get them off. I mean, just. As of the making of this video, Margie is currently sitting in jail awaiting trial. If convicted, she faces up to life in prison for her charges. What are your thoughts on this case? Did she act in self-defense? Please share them in the comments below.